Hello, my name is Don Lupo and I'm the Director of Sales and Marketing here at Acromag for their Process Products Division. Today I'd like to talk to you specifically about Acromag's TT233 Universal Thermocouple Transmitter product. The TT233 accepts eight different types of thermocouples plus millivolt inputs and will give you a universal 4 to 20 milliamp output. The output can be wired as a true 2 wire with a 4 to 20 milliamp sinking output or as a true 3 wire with a 4 to 20 milliamp sourced output. This product is designed to be used in hazardous locations. It has high performance, high accuracy, high reliability. It's used in the process market right inside of control loops. It's also used in the automation market and in the lab for R&D when you're doing test and measurement on your process. The product is used by end users, systems integrators, and OEMs. Today I've got a very simple demo, it's to show you how easy it is to configure the unit with your USB uh, software running on your Windows based PC. And my setup right here is very simple, when you receive the unit, you're going to put it on the bench, you're going to connect it up to your calibrator, and you're going to connect your 4 to 20 milliamp output to a precision meter and a power source. I'm using a panel meter for that. You're also going to connect it up to your PC via USB. Now today, I'm just using a simple USB cable to my notebook PC, but if your PC is grounded or your 24 volt power supply is grounded, Acromag recommends that you connect up through Acromag's USB isolator uh, to the USB port. Okay, by referring to the screen, I've got three simple PowerPoint slides that will walk you through the process of how easy it is to connect and configure and download into the module. Slide number one simply states step one of three, you're going to receive the module, wire it up on the bench to your calibrator input shown on the left, we're using a thermocouple wiring diagram, and you're going to wire your output up to a precision meter and power source. What I like about the diagram on the right is it shows you in one diagram how easy it is to wire this instrument up with, as shown on the bottom, as a true two wire with a 4 to 20 milliamp sinking output, or right above it as a 4 to 20 milliamp sourced output with a local power supply. The next slides, very simple. Step two, you're going to connect up to your PC, open up your software, and begin to configure and download into the module. I'll show you that in a moment. And then the last step, after you configure and download it into the module, with your calibrator, you're going to want to walk through a validation process, check out your linearity. Um, with your calibrator, walk through 0, 25, 50, 75, and 100 percent of range, and make sure you're getting uh, 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20 milliamps out within rated accuracy. Okay, so that's very easy. My next step here is to open up the software and show you how easy it is to actually walk through and download in. Let's see. So I'm going to click on the Acromag TT233 configuration icon. One window pops up. In the upper left hand corner I'm going to click open. And way down at the bottom it says, no error encountered while reading configuration. That's good. Back up at the top, it'll say the product name. It'll give you a model number and serial number. Uh, Acromag is the manufacturer, and again, it reiterates the serial number at the top. Next, I'm going to click Get Config from the Unit. And by reading down below, you can see what's inside of, the, uh, of my demo right now is a Type J thermocouple range, upscale brake, high filtering, cold junction compensation on, and the range is minus 210 to 760 degrees C input, 4 to 20 milliamp output. For my demo, I'm going to leave Type J range, but I'm going to click on the pull down to show you all the ranges this model supports. For brake control, uh, I'm going to leave it as up, but I could just as easily select down. Filtering. You've got four options on filtering. There's no filtering, low, medium, and high. If I leave the filter control on none or no filtering, my response time of the unit will be about 100 milliseconds. If I select high, my response time on the unit will be about one second. I'm going to leave it as high for now. Cold junction compensation should always be on for thermocouple transmitter applications. If you have millivolts, cold junction compensation should be off. And for my demo, I'm going to scale the Type J transmitter for 0 to 200 degrees C. So my 0 input that now says two, minus 210, I'm going to put in 0 degrees C and tab out of it. That should equal 4 milliamps out. And for my full scale, I'm going to put in 200 degrees C and tab out. Now I can also program this in degrees F if you're more comfortable with that. 
That's what I want inside the unit, 0, 200 degrees C. I'm going to click Send Configuration to the unit. At the bottom it says No Error Encountered. I'm going to hit Start Polling. And up at the top um, I can compare uh, the polling reading on the software to my meter. Now I'm not going to go back to my meter yet. I want to talk to you about the, what's left on this software page. Below the test input is our uh, calibration input parameters. These parameters allow you at your site to precisely calibrate the unit with your instrumentation. Uh, this is a highly accurate, highly stable unit. You should really not need to use calibration parameters unless you're trying to get more accuracy out of the unit or over a long period of time you've noticed some drift. Uh, calibrating the unit though, you're gonna, it's very easy. I'm not going to go through it today, but you're going to precisely calibrate your input with your calibrator. Then you're going to calibrate the output with a known precision meter and you're also going to be able to calibrate the temperature reference uh, sensor. If you think you did something wrong during calibration or configuration, there's a button to restore factory calibration. There's a button down below to reset this, just like you would cycle power. And there's even a button at the very bottom that says return to out-of-box condition. This is kind of a sanitization procedure. When you click that button, this will bring it completely back to the Acromag uh, factory default configuration and all of the Acromag calibration coefficients that uh, were put in the module from the factory. Okay, going back to the product, let's just walk through the validation procedure. With my flute calibrator here, I'm already set to a range of 0 to 200 degrees C, and I'm going to walk through and validate that my meter is reading with good accuracy. Right now I'm on 0 degrees C, and my meter should be reading 0 degrees C, plus or minus 1 degree C of range. If I walk, step up to the next 25% value, I'm in, injecting 50 degrees C, and my meter should be reading 50 degrees C, plus or minus 1 degree C. Going another step, 100 degrees C, you, the meter should be reading with high accuracy. And at, well, I think I went through 150, but at 200 degrees C, I should be reading at 200 degrees C. That's it. That's how easy it is to connect, configure, calibrate, and validate your TT233 product. For more information, go to Acromag's website at www.acromag.com. Thanks.